Thank you, sir. Sumit ji, are you working anywhere? I am currently not working. Were you working? You were working at Price Waterhouse. Yes, sir. What happened to this company? Sir, recently there has been news surfacing again regarding Satyam scam. So, what happened to this? You get the. What is its fate? Yes, sir. So, SEBI has come with the order that uh, PWC can't audit the listed firms on the stock exchanges currently. So, it has been barred in yes. India? Yes. So, you say that. So, what is it doing about it? Sir, uh, he, they have come with a statement that uh, we. Are they going company? to contest it in a court of law or not? Yes, sir. They then have. I don't, you say that. Sir. Which is the court in which they can go against the visa? Securities Appellate Tribunal. Hmm. So, what was wrong with Satyam? What happened in Satyam? Uh, they made the, their company book accounts in fraud. So, they inflated the cap, uh, book accounts. So, that was not known to the PWs, PW Trust or to House Coopers when they audited. So, they have claimed this. That they, and they were not given the correct information. Why do you want to join the civil service? Sir, for diversity, for bringing changes and bringing smiles on the faces of the people and the wide responsibility given to the youth at very young ages. What qualities do you possess which should make you a good civil servant? Sir, empathy, integrity, mm -hmm. efficiency. Okay. Right. Uh, Mr. Uh, Sumit, yes, uh, have you heard of uh, the United Nations Sanction Committee 1267? Yes. What is this committee? Sir, it uh, makes the terrorist organized. It uh, considers the terrorists and through even it sanctions them as terrorist organizations. So, what happens? Once uh, a person or an organization is declared yes. as a terrorist, yes. what happens after that? Every effort is ensured that uh, whatever nations, there should be a nation's cooperation on making okay. those terrorist Did you read about the fact that this committee is, uh, is on a visit to Pakistan? Yes, sir. Was. And what is the reason which has been given for that? What are they going to study in Pakistan? Sir, they are going to study, they were mainly associated with the Hafiz Sahib case. So, yes, Hafiz Sahib, uh, Hafiz Sahib is one of the cases. Who is Hafiz Sahib, tell me that? Sir, he is Jamal Dawa chief. Okay. And has he, he undertaken any major terrorist action against India? Yes, sir, he has been arrested in 2008 Mumbai in the last case. Right. So, what happened in that case? We had, we had given all the details about Hafiz Sahib's involvement to Pakistan. Yes, what happened after that? Any idea? Uh, sir, they have been denying the allegations. Now, Hafiz Sahib is the head of which terrorist organization? Jamal Dawa. Jamal Dawa is the, is the mother organization. Yes, which is, Jamal Dawa attacked in Bombay or somebody else attacked Bombay? Sir, Laskar Ita. That's right. So, lashkar e taiba is the organization, the terrorist organization which is being headed by this right? Yes. Now, one person was uh, arrested uh, in uh, alive in the Bombay attack. Mm -hmm. Who was he? You remember the ter 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 terrorist attack, Ajmal Kassar? You remember mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Uh, now, uh, the, the sanctions committee uh, the, is coming to Pakistan and you had mentioned that Hafiz Said is the reason. What is uh, What has Hafiz Said requested? Why is, uh, what is the uh, relationship between Hafiz Said and this committee? What has Hafiz Said requested? No, no, I am asking you. You mentioned that uh, yes, uh, that uh, they are coming because of Hafiz Said. Yes, so, what, what is the reason? Even the sanction committee has already declared him. Correct. He is already a terrorist. Yes, sir. And then? So, they wanted to, uh, they wanted the support from Pakistan to ensure that yeah. they are, he is no. taken in custody. No, Hafiz Sayyid has also submitted a request to the UN Security Council yes, that his name should be removed from the uh, list as a terrorist. Okay. 
So that is one of the things which is to be looked into by this committee. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now you are fond of uh, cricket. Yes, sir. So uh, there was this Loda committee report, uh, Loda committee uh, recommendations. What were the major recommendations? Some sir, of the major recommendations. There has to be a nine-member ethics council, uh, which has to be represented by sports person mm. and women too. Um, there has and the BCCI and IPL governing bodies has to be separate, and there has to be no involvement of ministers or bureaucrats, mm. and. Further, um, in the governance aspect too, uh, CAG should be administrating the finances, seeing over the... Uh, I'll just check up on that. Okay, thank you. Why do we need All India Services? All India Services are necessary for... It is a link between the centre and the state government administration. And all India services help in maintaining that cooperation. Okay. Uh, what are the provisions uh, yeah. with respect to convicted politicians? How do we, what, uh, are they prevented from uh, contesting elections? What is the exact provision? Sir, the election commission has been saying to the, uh, has been proposing the government to ensure that they have been there has to be punishment for those against not proposal. What is the law? Sir, if, a, if a politician is convicted, what is the law? What, what is the fallout of that? He, he is already convicted. Yes. So he can't. They can't uh, contest the elections. And for how long? For these six years. For six years uh, after the con charges period. Okay, and is there any uh, uh, minimum imprisonment uh, term for that? Sir, I am not aware of Okay. Uh, prohibition law in Bihar. Yes, sir. What are your views on this? Uh, was there a need to uh, force prohibition through law or there should have been a social reform? Pros and cons. Okay, sir. Sir, prohibition actually has created domestic violence in the rural areas of Bihar. And to ensure that that doesn't happen, and even the money has been not spent on the education and health purpose in the family. So, due to this, uh, provision law has been brought, and the advantages have been uh, these domestic violence and the diversion of money in health and education sectors have increased by a fair amount. So, the, uh, the intent which we wanted to achieve has been. Has been fulfilling. Okay. Last question. Yes. Sir. We uh, recently office of profit was in news. Yes. Sir. What does this mean? Sir, office of profit as such has not been defined in the economy. Okay. So, if anyone, means uh, what it means by the uh, explanation is that anyone except whoever mentioned in the constitution cannot claim. Uh, profit. If he is then he disqualified. He will what is the purpose behind it? Sir, uh, persons should not attain pecuniary advantages. So this is this is the main motive behind creation of the office of profit. Suppose the person does not draw any money from that office. Yes. Is that not office of profit? Even he supports. Uh, that cause also, even he is not drawing the office of profit, it will be deemed as office of profit. You said the purpose was that somebody should not draw money. Sir, sorry. Uh -huh. What is the purpose now? Can you change your answer? Uh -huh. Even he supports those activities uh, where he would be, he could get that advantage. It would be going against the... Uh, okay, functioning as a uh, legislator. Think of a separation of executive and legislative. Okay. You enjoy listening to TED Talks. Yes. What is so important about these talks? Ma'am, TED Talks are spreading about ideas. So its, it's motive is to spark conversation among them through the ideas. So who is your favorite uh, talk on uh, TED? Ma'am, uh, I haven't. 
I have seen many videos, so there is not a single person who can I tell about the favorite one. Alright. Now, um, you have a number of hobbies, cycling trip, adventure club, etc, etc. So, what has been the role of hobbies in the development of your personality? They have ensured uh, the time management part. I have also gathered qualities like patience, perseverance through sports. Uh, it has also helped me coping in my failures and coming back. Okay, good. Now you uh, opted for anthropology as a subject. You would have studied different types of uh, chapters here, like uh, you studied cultural anthropology, social anthropology, kinships and all. So how will this help you, a study of this help you as an administrator? You can take each one of them and then give me a few lines on each of them. What are those then? Cultural. Because what did you study? You studied cultural anthropology? Yes, sir. Did you study social anthropology? Yes, sir. Kinship patterns? Yes, sir. Crimes? All this you studied? Yes, now tell me for each of them. One, just one, one specific line. Okay. Cultural anthropology helps to know the cultural variations and frame the policies according to it. Good, you have beliefs and customs. Yes, sir. All yes, right. Sir. Then? And social anthropology uh, ensures that how a society is developing and ensuring the areas which they are deficit in the development. The norms and the standards. No. Anything else then? And and the by studying kinship, by studying lineage, what would you determine? Kinship lineage uh, actually prospects the affinial relations through in which marriage happens. So, it is a closed system uh, in a group. So, would you say that the institution of marriage is disintegrating in our country? The law of monogamy uh, has been shifting mm -hmm. quite a bit. How is it shifting? Uh, so, there has been an increase in number of divorces mm -hmm. which is happening in the country. So, in that way, it is. So, what do you think are the reasons for divorce? Reasons. Any practical reasons which you can think of? Yes, ma'am. Both the men and women have been started working. Yes, okay. So, so as a result of that? Now, both are empowered. Both are, the women are not dependent on the men. As yes, they are economically independent. Mm -hmm. So, they can take their own decisions. Yes. So, that also leads to conflict at times. Anything yes. else you can think of? The values of globalization, westernization is creeping into the uh, traditional values of in India. So, there has been influence of those values. Okay. Anything else? Alright, coming to these tribes. Hmm? Do we have different schedules to deal with tribes? Yes, ma'am. Which are these? Fifth and sixth schedule. What is different about the two of them? The sixth schedule provides more at autonomy hmm. and than the fifth schedule hmm. to the tribes themselves. And is any any one of them area specific? Fifth schedule, it's area specific. Um, means, what do you want to know? You tell me what is the fifth schedule? Fifth schedule. So enforces the governance upon the governor mm -hmm. uh, with the help of the tribes advisory council. And the decision of tribes advisory council is not uh, binding on the governor. While mm -hmm. in sixth schedule, the, uh, those decisions are binding. Okay. Now, very often you hear this term that we don't cast our vote, we vote our caste. Yes. Have you heard of this? Yes, ma'am. What does it mean? So, there has been castization of politics which has been taking place. So, it merely influences that and signifies that. Okay, last question. There was this talk that it's one country, so we should have our elections on the same day. Yes, what are your views on that? Yes, Do you think it's practical? Uh, it's practical. Because it uh, it enforces the it should ensure that all the personnel uh, who are managed in the elections should come board in this. Plus, there has been allegations of also teachers being uh, going away from their work mm -hmm. and are deputed. So, in this sense, if this is achieved, then it will serve the cause of uh, 
But what about the security arrangements? Do we have that much of force? And you just said about teachers going away. So teachers are supposed to teach and not go and mine the polling booths. Yes, and so practically it is not feasible currently. Not feasible. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So me. Uh, what is your service preference? Sir, IPS. IFS. IPS. Okay. Right. Uh, tell us some of the internal threats, internal security threats, yes. and also the external threats. Internal security threats are Naxalism in the uh, tribal cold areas, mm -hmm. cyber security, and the insurgency in the northeast. Okay. Communal conflicts, caste conflicts which happen over the country. External are the state actors part and the terrorism. Right. Uh, ease of doing business. So there is a ranking of the countries, right? Yes. Where is India placed? Currently India is placed at 100th. 100? 100th. 100. And uh, we have improved our position over the years. Yes. What are the factors that has contributed to this improvement? Sir, access to electricity. Uh, the I'm not aware about the reasons right now. I had some I law was also enacted. Yes, sir. Uh, insolvency and bankruptcy court. How that has helped? It has helped in the resolution process of the companies who are stressed and they can exit now. Uh, so, in, in, enforcing the ease of doing business part. Which is what are the criteria on which we are still lagging that not much progress has been made? So, starting a company, uh, enforcing contracts. One more is there which I am missing. Okay. okay. Mm. Financial inclusion. Yes. What is meant by that? Do we have any scheme which? Yes, Janda he was not. Um, what kind of inclusion has been made? How actually the scheme is working? Sir, it has opened multiple, uh, 17, around 17 crore bank accounts. 17? 17 crore bank accounts. Much more than that. Okay, so I am not aware about the figures. Okay. Now. So, it has in, increased the banking penetration. Uh, and it has enhanced the access to credit to the um, households who were earlier starved of it. What kind of inclusion it has facilitated? The financial inclusion part. In, in turn, it has also ensured the social and economic development of those people. Human Development Index. Yes, sir. What are the criteria? The pa parameters. Parameters. On the education, uh, the mean years of schooling and average years of schooling the per capita income which determines the standard of living and the health indicator. As far as Bihar is concerned, yes. what is its track record on the STI? The ranking. Ranking. The ranking part I am not aware about it. But uh, it, government, <coughs> state government has from 2005 has taken vast measures on the health and education part. So it has been progressing very fairly on those aspects. Thank you. Right. I'll ask you one. What is the GDP growth rate of Bihar? Around 10 percent. 10 percent? Yes. It is said that between 2011 and 2014, yes, it sir. was one of the fastest growing states. Is that a correct statement? Currently, it has been growing at 10 percent. I am not aware about 2011 to 14. Okay. Now, uh, ease of doing business, you were asked. In some indi indices, global indices, we have fallen. Hunger index for that matter, yes. which was came out I think in November. Global hunger index. Yes. Do you know which organization uh, published that hunger index? <coughs> International Food Policy Research Institute. Where is it based? Washington. Correct. Thank you. So where does it place India? I'm not aware about. And you will not be able to say much about it. India's position has fallen from 97 to 100. Okay. But 
research. So you, you don't know anything about research. No point in asking. Then India has again fallen in the quantitative index. Quantitativeness. Yeah. Do you know what is the position? So it was around 50s. No. Okay. Then we fell very badly in the environmental performance index. It also came out in January. Any idea where we are standing? No, sorry, sir. No. Okay. All right. We close the interview. I'll give you a little feedback now. Most of the questioning will be based on your biodata yes. yeah, and on current affairs. Yes. So the fact that you come from Bihar, prepare yourself very well on Bihar, Bihar's economy. So budget be argued over Bihar, so you can look at the budget. What was the growth rate last year before that? In fact, it registered 12% uh, during 2011, 12 to 14. Okay. Yeah. That was a time when Gujarat was registered the best, but it was considered the second best. How is it that it could do so well? So these are something which you must keep in mind. Okay. Then, human development indices. You were asked that way. By definition of HD? The parameters. The parameters. The parameters. Okay. Yes. On this, where is where does Rajasthan stand? Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, we are. We are standing. Also, in, uh, I think it stands very low. Yes, sir, but I am not about. Then some, some achievements of Bihar government, the okay. recent achievements. Okay. They can ask you about the Liha policy. Okay. What do you agree? Do you agree with this or don't agree? So have some reasoned answer, not uh, answer based on imperfect facts. You know? Then your questions on your hobbies, etc. Definitely you will get questions. You will ask some questions on marriage, it's, you know, on, on hobbies. Okay. You will ask certain questions, playing cricket, etc., TED Talks. What is this? Test. Okay. Uh, then materials and metallurgical in a, uh, engineering. They can ask you a simple question, what is, define this. What is this engineering? Then, what work is being done in India in this field? So, this is the first Lastly, this Price Waterhouse Cooper, at least know something about this. Yeah. Yeah. You seem very apologetic about as if you were even defending Price Waterhouse Cooper. Okay. It was a very. They came on with a statement that uh, they are, the company books were not known to them how they have made it. About. So It's all come in the papers. Yes, yes. Nothing is hidden. Yes. They may say anything. They are the auditors, yeah. and then they pretend that we don't know anything. What is audit meant for? Then, why civil service quality is okay, empathy is but you must also think of like hard work, integrity, which you have said, uh, adherence to rule of law, readiness to handle crisis, you know, leading from the front. These are the things which you should mention. Then you were asked about 1267. And what is this? One, two, six, seven. Yes, I believe asked yes, you. Habi Sayyid. Yes, yeah, what is the problem? Why are we not able to get him declared as an international terrorist? You know, China is China. Then Loda Committee. And cricket is reeking with corruption. How it is yes. cleaning up. Then what is the need for all India services? Yes. Because they bring a national vision for developmental activity. They don't confine the vision to a state or something, you know, parochial vision. Sure. They look at it at a national vision. So yes. that is, that is the, the, the importance of this. And then they bring about what? unity, national unity. You will get posted probably in Manipur. I'll get posted somewhere else, you know, I'm from UP, but I'll get posted to yes. Punjab something. You know, this national division. Uh, so it's a very important thing. Office of Profit and Pay defined has constitution and legal like Supreme Court and defined here. You check out. Per anthropology, it's so definitely a way to get some questions. What is tribe, etc. What is PESA? 
what is 73 amendment, 74 amendment, you know, those important forest dwellers' rights. Yes. They are all connected with your anthropology. Fifth schedule, 11th schedule. You know, you will have a shoot. I recommend the elements on which Panchayat Raj. Panchayat Raj, Then simultaneous elections. It's not feasible, it's not practical. It's a good idea. It will save a lot of money and hassle, yes. but it's not practical. Internal and external security threats, what are those threats? Second will be how we are handling those threats. Then financial inclusion. Uh, which schemes have been launched? Aadhaar has been launched, DBT has been launched, Jandan has been launched, eh? Jam Treaty of Yes, yes. Eh? yes. And uh, so then mobile telephony is being extended yes. so, so that people can make financial transactions. Yeah, through mobile phones. Other uh, you, you can transfer money, you know. Wallets have also been Yes, so all that is financial inclusion. Here, right to privacy, we are here. I important judgment to spend it now. index is recent. Democracy index, competitive index, environmental performance. don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.